Well, it is Tuesday. That means it's Take Control Tuesday with Mansa Musa. And Mansa, at this time of the year, we're dealing with new deductibles, new payments, maybe even new insurance and all that kind of stuff. How do we actually get the opportunity to budget or to be able to save or go into a store and spend if we have to? Yeah, well, here's the thing. A lot of things when it comes to our money and finances have a regular pattern and a regular time. Mm-hmm. This is a time of year we file our taxes. Halloween through New Year's is, you know, shopping and buying time. Well, one of the seasons that comes around is when at the beginning of the year, your deductibles on your insurance programs reset. Yep. So for a period of time, you've got to pay out of pocket until you meet that deductible. So let's talk about a couple of ways to do that by using our food budget. As we've talked about in the past, and they can go to TakeControlTuesday.com to check the archives, is that you should have a food storehouse. You need to be prepared for either a natural or a personal disaster. Now, we've talked about having a food storehouse that would support you and your family for three days, you grow to seven days, and finally you want to have 30 days on hand. Right. Now, Randy, a three-day natural disaster isn't hard, that you could be down and disconnected for three days, either natural or man-made disaster. Now, what a natural disaster is, is something that affects you and everybody else in the community. A personal disaster is something that affects you. Mm -hmm. If you lose your job, that's a disaster. Yeah. Having food on hand to address that period is what we're talking about here. Okay. Now, what we tell people at the beginning of the year, now's the time to start using some of that food store. Right. Bring it down offset some of your food spending, and then replenish it as you go throughout the year. If you're strategic about it, you can avoid some costs and offset the money you have to pay for deductions. And finally, one of the biggest challenges people have when we work with them is maintaining their budget when it comes to food. It just seems like it's easy to overspend in that category. That one of the ways to control that is to use a prepaid card. Hmm. Go out, get a Visa card, or you can even do a grocery store card if you do a lot of shopping there. But get the card, preload it with what your budget is, and then just use that on food. Wow, okay. And when it's gone, it's gone. And that helps a lot of people start making choices about how they spend their money as opposed to just putting the credit card up and then finding out later that you've overspent. That is such a good tip. And those are the kind of things that you teach people as well with what you do, man. So give them that information. Yeah. One of the best ways to access our services is through hopedetroit.net. And you also can just text your name, email address, and zip code to 313 374-0999, and I'll send you an enrollment link and get you started in our one-to-one coaching program. But hopedetroit.net, go there, look at the list of classes. We have a lot of great classes coming up, and check back because that calendar is updated weekly. Absolutely. And you can get our archives at TakeControlTuesday.com and make sure that you share this information to help others out as well. Thank you, Mansa. Thank you.